Hello and welcome to 21st Century Music, where we are helping you to make better music. Today we are going to use the Sonar X1 producer to take a little MIDI clip and play it through a grand piano and record the audio produced. Sonar allows you to do everything within the program itself. It has a lovely set of synthesizers and uh, full features for using them. So we're going to create a new project. Uh, notice that uh, we have to give it a name. We'll call it Video 1 because this is our first video. And uh, we have it on normal. We can select from several presets, 16 track, 24 track, surround sound and so forth. So we have it set on normal and when we click OK, we get a blank project which contains one audio track, one MIDI track, a master stereo bus and uh, the final output which is going to our external uh, analog, sorry digital to analog converters to go ahead and send it, it, send it through our system. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well first we are going to insert our synthesizer so we come over here and we open the synth rack which has in nothing right now and we add a synthesizer we are going to use the Dimension Pro which is one of the flagship synthesizers we make sure that our insert dialog box we have simple instrument track ticked property page rack view and uh, recall controls and ask every time we go OK and we've got our Dimension Pro interface. Now as you can see it's added also a, another um, track to our track view here for the synthesizer and we have the little keyboard icon to let us know the type of track that it is. Now obviously we have to use some sort of tone so we're going to use, we see here it's empty program, so we double, double click on that to open our program browser and we're going to choose a nice grand piano. This Dimension Pro has a lot of nice uh, sounds and you can even buy more or create more on your own. So we're going to select a nice grand piano with a good sound, here we've got one here. So we double click on that and it loads the samples and then we can close our screen because we don't need it anymore. If you need to get that back at any time you simply double click up here in the icon and it's back again. See? So now we've got our synthesizer loaded we have to have something for it to play. So we need to insert our notes, our MIDI file so we go here, File, Import, MIDI, and then we just have to browse to the uh, location that we want on our uh, hard drive. So I'm looking here for my uh, sequencer, my sequencer output from my old uh, QX5. There we go, there's the QX5. So this is a little rift I was working on some time ago. So we insert that. Now here you see we've got the MIDI notes insert, so we just sample it to make everything is working okay. Alright, so now we want to take that playing input and we'll go send it through our grand piano and record that as an audio track. So we click on the tracks icon up here and we select bounce to tracks. Now we have to, we have to select our destination as this audio track here. So we, we set that to the audio track that we have here. And uh, everything else is correct in the box because we have our source as the Dimension Pro stereo output. We are going to record it as a stereo output track of our grand piano and when we click OK it mixes it down and the audio appears in our track. So now to listen to our audio we will mute the, mute the synthesizer so it doesn't uh, accept the input otherwise it would be playing along with the audio 
So what is playing now, because this is muted, if I click on play up here in the control bar, what is playing is actually the audio output. As you see, the dimension is not making any sound. Now we pause that to show you that we can move the now time with this here to any part of the clip. As you can see, I'm going to move it down here and we can then resume playback. Okay folks, that's it for today on 21st Century Music. Thanks for joining us.